A multi-billion dollar coffee company in the hot seat on Capitol Hill as a former Starbucks CEO is called to testify before Congress. The effort was spearheaded by Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who chairs the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Senator Sanders claims Starbucks engages in illegal union busting activity, something former CEO Howard Schultz denies. Since December 2021, nearly 300 Starbucks stores nationwide have voted to unionize. The exchange, which got heated at times, lasted more than three hours and featured testimony from Schultz, other workers, and witnesses. Employees at the Starbucks in South Burlington voted to unionize last summer. Cam Smith spoke with them about efforts to negotiate their first contract. We just want to be able to live in thrive in the town that we are working in. Sylvia Sharp works at the Starbucks in South Burlington, the only location in Vermont that voted to unionize. They're still working on hammering out an initial contract. Sharp says they want higher wages, more flexible schedules, and better benefits. We haven't gotten any benefits yet. She also claims several employees here have had their hours cut. These concerns come as former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz testified Wednesday on Capitol Hill before Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders in the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Sanders claims Schultz has made efforts to stop employees from unionizing. Over the past 18 months, Starbucks has waged the most aggressive and illegal union busting campaign in the modern history of our country. Sanders went on to say that the National Labor Relations Board ruled Starbucks violated federal labor laws more than 100 times in the last year and a half. At that, Schultz went on the defense. We have not broken the law. We have simply tried to defend ourselves and tell our employees, all of them, what we stand for, our future, the aspirations we have, the growth of the company, and the opportunity. Back in South Burlington, Sharp says the lack of progress is not going to put a lid on their unionizing efforts. Had I not had an amazing crew, I probably would have left a long time ago. It seems extremely beneficial to make sure that we know that we are partners working together. Um, regardless of our uncertain circumstances. Now, I wanted to talk to the South Burlington store about Sharp's claims. The manager here directed me to corporate media relations. I called, I got an email, and didn't answer my direct questions. They only said that they're encouraging the union to join them in in-person negotiations. Darren? So, Cam, has Starbucks reached a labor agreement at any of the other 278 stores nationwide that voted to unionize? No, Darren, they have not yet. And Sharp tells me that if these negotiations are unsuccessful, then they could go on strike. Darren? All right, Cam Smith, thank you very much.